Good morning and welcome to your Farm and Home Show. I'm Christy Shive and this morning we're visiting with Alyssa Cox. She's the Family and Consumer Sciences Agent in Wolf County. Good morning, Alyssa. Good morning, Christy. Thanks for having me. Thanks for being here, Alyssa. Now, Alyssa, the holiday season is coming up. And with that comes many meals that we look forward to. And we know that food is fuel. And we always try to provide information to individuals uh, to help them make smart choices for their bodies and their health conditions. But we also want to remember that food brings fellowship and fun. And today you are going to talk to us about eating around the holidays. That's right, Christy. So the holidays are a really fun and exciting time filled with those family gatherings and celebrations, but it can also be a time when people experience stress and anxiety, especially surrounding food and food choices. So food can be a large part of holiday gatherings, which may include a variety of foods that people consider bad or unhealthy. So navigating through the holiday season without stressing over food choices can be really difficult. Um, practicing intuitive eating during this time is a great way to help you cope with these feelings about food and give you some food freedom. So if you don't know what intuitive eating is, um, it is a focus on reconnecting with our body's hunger and fullness cues and understanding some of the emotional and behavioral reasons for why we eat. So by practicing intuitive eating, you can allow yourself to enjoy all of the holiday foods that you desire without going overboard or feeling out of control when it comes to food. So I have a few tips to share on how to implement intuitive eating this holiday season. First, um, eat the foods that you want. It's important to allow yourself to enjoy the holiday foods that you want and to not restrict yourself. Restricting can lead to fixating on those foods and then potentially over consuming those foods. And this can cause feelings of being out of control. So it's important to keep in mind that one meal will not make you unhealthy. All foods can fit into a balanced diet so allow yourself to eat the holiday treats that you desire while keeping in mind that your body's hunger and fullness cues. Next is reject the diet mentality. Having the mentality that the diet starts on January 1st or that you will start dieting after the holidays can cause you to feel out of control when you are around holiday foods. Next thing is to listen to your hunger and fullness cues. Um, listening to those cues can be especially difficult during the holidays when eating large meals and grazing on snacks all day is the norm. So before you eat, be mindful of how your body feels. Um, think to yourself, how hungry really am I? And maybe put that on a scale of one to 10. Um, and think of what food do I actually want to eat? And am I going to eat because it's the typical time to eat a meal? or because I'm actually hungry. It's important to trust your body and listen to these cues to know when to eat and when to stop eating. Um, next, think about not earning your food. So restricting or skipping meals or over-exercising so you deserve to eat holiday foods you want can lead to overeating and the feeling of being out of control. You don't need to earn the foods that you're planning on enjoying for the holidays. You also don't need to make your usual meals smaller or skip meals altogether to reduce the amount of calories that you're eating. And finally, focus on that joyful movement. Staying active during the holiday season is a great way to manage stress and keep your mind and body feeling good. It's important not to think of exercise or moving your body as a punishment for the foods that you ate or for permission to eat certain foods. Alyssa, thank you so much for being with us today. You touched on so many amazing points. If you are watching and any information on intuitive eating or eating around the holidays, be sure to contact your local extension office. Thanks for joining us and have a great day.